don't you hate it when you go to a website and you look for customer support and they just like, yeah, email you, we might get back to you in 24 hours? to another Shopify app review video. So we're going to do an entire series about live chatting apps. And this week we are going to look at Tideo. What are the benefits of live chatting apps? Well, it increases sales, then it gives better customer service, it just better support, your brand becomes more viral, you just have a better product if customers can reach you immediately. And that's kind of the point of it. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna stop talking uh, and we're going to look at the behind the scenes of Tidio uh, live chat app. All right, let's check it out. Okay, the app is installed and we are on the start guide. So as you see here, there is the little chat icon and everything, and we have the option to configure our live chat. So the first thing here is pretty obvious, is the name of the customer service agent. So we will write my name, Andrew Duro, and then uh, for the avatar, we will choose, let's see, okay, this image. So right below that, you can choose the um, color of your chat window. So it's just to figure out the overall star brand. Um, so we will go with a nice shade of red, for example. You look good. Um, also, what's cool is so obviously you can see the um, the direct result and how it would look for your clients immediately here on the right. Okay, nice shade of red. That's done. Let's proceed to the language tab. So there's 21 languages available. You can see in this drop down, pretty impressive. And we'll stick with uh, English on this one and continue. On to the next tab. We need to provide obviously our account information. So this has regular questions like so. Let's do this real quick and then accept the terms and conditions, and then we are good to. To continue to the next step. So on the next step, we are on the chatbot setup page. So here it's kind of like the final customizations that you can do. There's two options for greeting your customers. And these two, like you can see, there are available discount code in exchange for the email or just a, a warm greeting. Uh, we will be generous today because I feel like being generous and we will offer a discount code on our fake website and click continue. So because we chose the discount option in the previous one, uh, this is some more customization work. We can change the, uh, the welcome message as you can see and then add the promo code. The welcome message is fine. We'll just change the discount code to EIO, which you know stands for ecomexperts.io. And then we, uh, we click on continue. So we are on the dashboard. So the dashboard actually looks really nice. I think it's one of the nicest ones I've reviewed so far. So uh, on the left, we have the uh, minimalistic navigations menu with a lot of items, the conversations, the dashboard, the chatbots, visitors, contacts, channels, analytics, and app settings, I believe. So let's start with the progress bar over here as usual, and then we'll go back to the dashboard. Okay, go ahead and click on set your offline hours, and we are on the app settings page. So in this page, we can do the most of the app's customization, which uh, which is great, nice. So let's start with notifications, since that's the tab we are currently on. In this tab, first we have notification sounds. So maybe we can set a different sound for your incoming visitor or for a new chat request or a new message. So uh, let's test some sounds. I think there's 10 options available. So for the incoming visitor, we will go with menu click. And for the new chat, we will request a new message. We will go with notification. So yeah, just fun customization stuff you can do uh, on the App. All right, let's jump to the next step, which is email preferences. Tidio lets you choose if you want to receive an email whenever the user contacts you out of the working hours. So when you have your DND on, pretty awesome. And since we don't want to miss any opportunities or any client contacting us, it's a really cool feature. So let's toggle this button from off to on. And now we need to set up our do not disturb hours off. So let's say all days of the week from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. we are not available, which is not the case of Ecom Expert by the way. All right, now scroll up to the beginning of the page and in the left menu, click on preferences. In the preferences tab, we can change the region of our shop, enable and set the frequency of the reports right here. You can choose to get reports daily, every three days, every week or monthly. We will choose daily and if you want to ban some customers from using the chat, you can do that in the tab too. So that's quite useful for people that are stalking your way through your store. I never thought this, uh, I could use this feature. All right, cool. The account tab, we already set 
it up in the start guide so we will proceed to operators let's add one more operator here by clicking on the blue button that says add an operator a new pop-up asking the name and email of the operator so let's write um, Aileen which is our sales agent and for her email we can always write an email for inquiries about info at ecomexperts.io and boop, the new operator is created and we will save this password to send to the operator operators tab is done and we can go to integrations so there's 14 integrations available that's pretty impressive including hey look at that Mitch Mailchimp is still in here a little All right, time for quick responses. So there is a list of pre-made quick responses and they are really good, but we recommend it to change it to something that will fit your brand more. So this is a demo shop. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just leave it like this, uh, but let's add our own response by clicking on the blue button that says add, just so you can see it. So we're in front of a new pop-up window and for a quick response, let's write something like, I hope you're having a great day. Click on add. In case you want to delete some quick responses, just click on the red button that says delete and that's about it so in the desktop and mobile tab right here you have three apps available so you can respond to questions wherever you are even if you're on the toilet let's leave this for now and go to the dashboard now that we are back to the dashboard let's check what else we have in the menu to the left let's click on chatbot on this window you can find insights about your chatbot messages and also you can add more chatbot just click on add another bot and you can choose from a range of different chatbots or you can just add one from scratch right here and so in this tab right here here you can find visitors on your side and in the contact step so you can find the clients who already use the live chat in the past all right now we are on the channel step and here we can play with the design of our live chat widget you can change almost everything from the position of the widgets the colors the text the appearances on mobile and desktop plenty of languages like you can really change the look and the feel of the app and all that out of the box without having to call me a developer so that's pretty damn cool also you can enable sidebar in case you want to increase the visibility of your live chat. That's pretty interesting. Tidio also allows you to connect your Facebook account. Uh, just click the blue button that says connect your Facebook account uh, right here and choose the page you want to connect the app with. So you basically just have to give necessary permissions and click on save changes. Uh, our Facebook page is now connected with Tidio and we can receive fan messages on Tidio. That's pretty cool. We are only left with the analytics tab. So let's click on that. In this window, we can see the insides of all our operators and and that's it. All right, all right, not bad. Let's test how this app works on our site. So welcome to our fantastic site. Here's our greeting message and the sound is not, not bad. Let's click on it and write, hello, this is a test and enter info at ecomexperts.io. Whoa, that was fast. Let's answer hello test. How can I help you? Works like a charm. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this app. This app is great as it offers many great features in my opinion. Speaking of features, some features and other chats are completely free but with but with Tidio you need to pay for it all right um, so it would be up to you to kind of compare it to the other chat bot apps that we review because some uh, of these features are also offered it elsewhere for a lower free cost, but it really depends on, on how deep you have to go. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the user needs to, need to enter their email addresses, although it is super beneficial from a marketing point of view because you would get the actual email addresses. Uh, but some people might be turned off from, from asking questions. Uh, one more thing I wasn't a super fan of is that the admin interface could sometimes be a little bit buggy and will crash. Um, and so that might mean that you might miss some messages. So we did notice that, but I'm sure there are workarounds for that. Okay, that is it for today, folks. Uh, I hope you guys learned something out of it. Maybe this app is a perfect fit for you, then definitely go install it. Uh, maybe not, so make sure to check out our other videos as well. If you like this type of content, like if you're like, hey, actually this is decently entertaining when I'm at work, on payroll for my boss or when I'm procrastinating. If you like this type of videos, um, definitely subscribe, definitely like, and make sure to check out all our other videos because we are reviewing Shopify apps. That's what we do. If you need any dev work, you know where to find us at ecomexperts.io. My name is Andrew and I see you in the next video.